Hi guys, how are we doing? Like I said in my previous video, we're going to do a, a quick debrief of Comic Con over the weekend there. Um, just put my camera back a wee bit. Um, so yeah, it was a big weekend for uh, comic book lovers, geek lovers, everything, just going to say everything. Everything. Uh, film lovers, a lot. Uh, so Warner Brothers were the big contenders this year. Um, did they sell us? The, the the new adventures that they were planning to reveal. I mean, they revealed the trailer for Aquaman, which looks phenomenal. Bit cheesy. I mean, they, they, they played on the one-liners in a trailer, um, which is good. But you're just like, oh, here we go. Another I'm excited about Aquaman. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about James Wan's Aquaman. But I hope they're not going to try and play on the one-liners in every trailer that they, they reveal for Aquaman because it's very... Justice League, pardon me, it's very Justice League, it's very what they've done with their other, the previous films, they played on the one line, everyone's like, oh my god, look at Batman just said, oh my god, look at Superman just said, oh my god, oh my god, and then you see the film, you're like, mm. I mean, I love the DCU, I love the films, but they're not perfect, they're not they're not the, the Marvel films, and I'm not meaning it like, they're not Marvel, they're, they need to do this, they need to do this, they need to do this, what I mean is they've not got the same structure as a Marvel film, uh, I mean don't get me wrong, the Marvel, Marvel films have got issues in them, There's not, they're not perfect, um, but they are, they're like, they're like up there in DC's like, maybe there, so that's a hell of a long way, but, so Aquaman, get revealed, great trailer, but has its kind of, I mean, it's been compared, from the trailer it's been compared to the Black Panther film, it's Wakanda Underwater. Um, I hope it's better than Black, Black Panther. I think I'm the only person that's actually quite kind of like I like Black Panther, but I think they played on the whole. Uh, it's the first big black guy comic book film. It's not. We've got Blade, but they played too much on the whole of its uh, its ethnic and you know, ethnic. I can't even say the word ethnic. I was going to say a word, but I can't even think. Basically, played on the ethnic side of it, and I loved it. It was a great film, but it wasn't anything special. It wasn't anything compared. It, was, it wasn't anything special like the other Marvel. I mean, there's other Marvel Marvel films that are far superior than Black Panther that should have got the credit. I mean, none of them are saying that oh, Black Panther could win Oscars. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two could have won Oscars. Uh, Avengers Infinity War could win an Oscar. Uh, Iron Man. Could, I mean, there's, there's plenty of other films that could have won Oscars in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But anyway. Enough from that. So Aquaman, brilliant trailer. Excited for it, but it's only the first trailer. So we'll see what happens. I hope it's not going to be one of these films that looks good, but then you think... Uh, anyway. Shazam. Shazam is freaking phenomenal. That was a great trailer. That was a fun trailer. A very fun trailer. Very funny. Very, very... It looks like it's going to be funny and serious at the same time. But yeah, that I can't with Zachary Levi looks just looks phenomenal. It does. It just Shazam. I cannot the, literally out of Aquaman and Shazam, I would say I'm more excited about Aquaman about uh, Shazam, sorry. The trailer just blew, it was just funny. It was funny. It was fun. It was light hearted. I mean the DC EU or sorry, it's now known as Worlds of Worlds of DC or World of DC. There've been several different reports. It's either going to be called Worlds of DC or World of DC. Because supposedly the DCEU was never a, a proper official title. It was taken on by uh, news reporters, online reporters, and fans. We supposedly called the DCEU. Was never called the DCEU. Probably actually does make sense because I've never actually seen one of us officially call it the, DC, the, the DCEU. But so hey ho. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so Shazam looks brilliant. It does look brilliant. It looks fun. It looks just it, it's the uh, the big of the Superman world. So uh, it looks like it's a bit of a fun film. There's also some like ten second, ten seconds of leaked footage from Wonder Woman two or Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. Uh, the audience were told not to reveal it, not to leak anything. But obviously, uh, camera phones can't help it. So it's a scene of uh, Diana. Uh, Laszlo and two guys in a shopping mall and running and it's like it's just a, it's a continuous shot and it just goes sees it goes over she see, she goes over the balcony and you see these guys oh it looks brilliant it, from that ten seconds you just think oh that's a great film I cannot wait for Wonder Woman two and that was it obviously Wonder obviously Warner Brothers announced uh, showed the trailer for uh, Godzilla King King of the Monsters I'm trying to think what it was it, it looks brilliant. I've not seen the first Godzilla, I'll admit that. I'm not a monster movie fan. I'm not, no, I like Frankenstein and 
the Wolfman, all them. I like the classic Universal monsters. Um, hated the new Mummy with Tom Cruise. Thought it was a appalling film, but that's another story. Um, King Kong. I loved King Kong, but that's again King Kong's different. I've not seen New Kong. I've not. I'm not big on big monster films. I don't know what it is. I would. I would watch. Uh, Pacific Rim. Uh, I haven't even seen the new Pacific Rim actually. Uh, I don't know. I've just never took to big monster films. But anyway. So, the new trailer for Godzilla looks brilliant. It does actually look good. I mean, I've got a great cast. I mean, you've got um, Vera Farmiga. You've got Millie... Millie Bobby Brown? I keep forgetting her name. I keep, keep saying Millie Brown Bobby. Millie Bobby, Millie, Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. Uh, Christ, they've got, they've got like, everyone. Everyone is basically got a role in the, the new film. Well, anyone big. Oh, yeah. Ice Cube's son, O'Shea, O'Shea, someone, O'Shea Jr., I can't even remember, Ice Cube Jr., Ice Cube Jr.'s in it, I like him, I watched him in a, a film, Den of Thieves, the other night, with, uh, me and Kirsty were watching it, me and Kirsty were watching it, uh, Den of Thieves with Jared Butler, good film, good film, he's in it, he's good in it, uh, Ice Cube Jr., just call me Ice Cube Jr., and then just Ice Cube Jr., Um so that was shown off. Uh, we also had some Lego Movie Two chat. Uh, there's not been much trailers from Warner Brothers shown. I mean, they had a, they, they spoke about a lot of stuff, but not a lot was shown trailer wise. It was just Aquaman, Shazam, a bit of Wonder Woman Two, and Godzilla. But they just never. They never. I'm so disappointed in Warner Brothers. You never took advantage to reveal anything about the Batman, anything about Man of Steel Two if it's happening. Nothing about the Flash when it's happening. They could have taken advantage of being like, this is now called the Worlds of DC and these are our new films we're going to be doing. They never mention a goddamn single thing and you just think, you've just so ruined it. So the Comic, comic Con this year wasn't tremendous. It was alright, but Marvel could have just fucking hit them at the water and just revealed Captain Marvel and I think they'd have won. Basically, I think they'd have won the battle, to be honest. Because Warner Brothers only had three things. Comic Book World to review and yeah they were all good but that was it Godzilla 2 and a few things here and there but nothing substantial nothing it was like oh, I really thought they were going to take advantage and just take Hall H and make it his bitch but it never oh, anyway Halloween Universal they revealed the trailer M. Night Shyamalamalamalam released the trailer for Glass and my God, this could be the greatest psychological thriller trilogy ever. Unbreakable was Unbreakable was brilliant. Split was even mind blowing, more brilliant. And Glass just looks ah. Oh, we are Bruce Willis taking on James McAvoy's The Beast. It's like a kind of. It's gonna be. Like, it's probably gonna be like the most underrated kind of indie kind of comic booky kind of movie ever because I bet you people will see it and it'll become one of those films that'll just kind of get thrown in the back of the pile you'll have all these com comic book films but people forget that this is going to be a comic book-esque film I mean you've got Glass you've got Sam Jackson who is a comic book lover you've got you, you, it's a comic book film it's going to be one of those comic book films that's going to be underrated it's kind of like Watchmen Zack Snyder's Watchmen isn't never got the the complete success it should have got and I think Glass is going to be, because Glass, I don't think people are going to realise what Glass actually is like and what Glass is actually about. So that was a phenomenal trailer. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to see this. I want to, I'm looking forward to this more than anything else in 2019. That's a lie. Avengers 4, obviously. And, okay, that's a lie. Um, and then you've got the Halloween reveal. Obviously, we never saw any trailers. They've not been leaked online, but details have been leaked online. Michael Myers and the detail description, I mean, it wasn't much shown, it wasn't much new footage shown, there was a few bits, it was the same trailer, a bit, few bit, few more, few new bits of footage. Michael Myers is going to be fucking brutal in this film. He's proper massacring anyone who gets in his way. I know he done it in the original film, and I know he done it in every other Halloween film, but he still had a kind of motive to killing this person to get to this person to get to this person. He's physically just going through houses in Haddon's field and just massacring people. I mean, there's, there's a description of um, massacring uh, a mother in front of her baby. And you think, oh, I mean, that is, that is quite a kind of, that is very not Michael Myers, but all right, fair play, they're all trying to kind of push the boundaries. That is going to be brutal to see. I mean, even reading the description, I was like, I felt as if I was watching it. I felt as if I could, I could visually see 
him doing it. And I'm like, ah, oh, this baby's just sitting here in his crib crying and watching this man brutally slit this her, her, his mother's throat. And I'm like, ah, oh. but that, and it's horrible, but that is society. That is what we want. We want to see Michael Myers just let loose. It was like when we saw Darth Vader in Rogue One. Yeah, the film was phenomenal. Uh, Darth Vader, his wee scenes were good. You're like, oh, it's Darth Vader. Woo! When he massacred those rebels, everyone was like, oh, yes! It's horrible and he's killing innocent people when you think, that's terrible, but fuck them up! Kill them! Slice and dice and cut a hole in their ass! It was brilliant! Same with this! Michael Myers, just like, he's killing innocent people, he's killing this, this mother who just gave birth to her baby, I mean, all this stuff, and she's only in her 20s, and this baby's going to grow up with no mum, but when you see it, you think, oh, that's a Michael Myers we want to see, we want to see a brutal bastard of a Michael Myers, and it sounds so horrible, I'm going, I'm basically creaming over this situation here, but we want a brutal Michael Myers, we want to Michael Myers be back to the way he was. Well, he was never this brutal in the original, but they're obviously going to push the boundaries. Um, hey ho, go for it, might as well. Um, and obviously, we had other announcements from the your usual, your usual TV, the Arrow, Arrowverse, all that. I'm, I'm going to say I'm a massive geek. I haven't got a clue what's going on in Arrow right now. I know I've been spoiled with all the things that's happening, but I genuinely haven't got a clue what's going on because I just have. There's so much, man. It's a headache. There's so much. There's the Legends of Tomorrow. There's Supergirl now connected to it. There's this connected to that. And I'm like, I'm like, what? Um, so, the usual uh, ROCW CW and Aaron and all that and reveal all that stuff about ROC Series 7 and all that stuff. Flash Series 4, this Series 5, this Series 12, this 1940, and all that stuff. The other big contender, the big player was Doctor Who. We finally got a reveal of a, a longer trailer. Uh, it was still 45 seconds, but it had more in it. it, had more footage of shit's going on, new villains, new this, new that. She looks, I'm, I'm going to say again, Jodie Whittaker looks phenomenal. She got a lot more lines in this trailer, it's brilliant. Again, it's only 45 seconds, quick kind of shh, but it's just like, oh, the universe is calling. That is a tagline for the new Doctor Who series, the universe is calling. So I think this is going to be a phenomenal series. I really would, I would hate to think that we watch the first episode and everyone's just like, the episode was good, but she wasn't that good. I think each Doctor... Don't be wrong, I think... I mean, everyone's like... I'm a David Ten I love David Tennant. I love Matt Smith. I love Peter Capaldi. I love Chris Ferguson. But each actor hasn't had... I mean, I, I cannot sit back and say that Doctor, their stories were better than this one. I think they've all had their wee kind of ups and downs. I think it helped if the actor was good. I mean, Peter Capaldi is an extraordinary actor. And he had quite a bad rap with his first few seasons. His episodes weren't that great. They were good, they weren't great. We're going back to basic, but they weren't that good. It was him that held you. She's gone off her head, the dog. Um, but Jodie Whittaker, again, she's she's new to this. She's filling the boots of some tremendous male actors. I mean, she's a female, so she's filling the boots of male actors of the last 50, 55 years, 54, 50, 55 years. So it's a big thing to do. No, she I means she's taking on the role, like I said, she's taking on the role of men, but she's also making her own and new show writer. Um, so it's a big, it's a big thing for Doctor Who this year. So I'm really hoping that if the series isn't that great, I hope that she's good. So if the show's not great, she needs to be good. That it, it, it makes you think I'm going to come back for series twelve, series twelve, series twelve. Yep, series twelve or her series two. We'll see her series, her series two. But uh, I've always found that each Doctor. They have a, a not bad first series. Second series is a bit better. Not, I mean, nobody's got a solid great series, but it's always the last few episodes before they regenerate is the... Uh, is when they really define themselves as a Doctor, define themselves as the actor playing the Doctor. Um, so, yeah, if that happens, say ho. So Doctor Who is a big container. It's brilliant, phenomenal. I cannot wait for it. Uh, we also got the reveal of the new Sonic Screwdriver that looks very alien-like. I know she's an alien. I know the Doctor is an alien, but it looked like alien technology. And it wasn't just this wee metal thing. It, 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 proper looked like a, it looked like an alien skin kind of thing. It looked brilliant. So that's exciting. Uh, Paramount... Never really done much. They they brought in the cast of Bumblebee, John Cena, Haley Steinfeld. There's been no trailer released. I don't know if there was any trailer in it. I mean, there wasn't much trailers this year. It was only Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman, 
uh, Glass, uh, Godzilla, uh, Doctor Who. So six trailers. Uh, yeah, like I said, it wasn't like, it wasn't a great Comic Con this year. I, w- I was expecting to wake up and be like, "Oh my God, they've announced this! Oh my God, they've announced that!" There wasn't any announcements. Nobody done anything out of the ordinary. And, like Paramount never was like. This is like going to be the cast of our new uh, joint universe with GI Joe, uh, Ultra, uh, Voltron, whatever they want to call it. They're they're basically bringing transform. Oh, they're bringing everyone together to make this big universe. Never done anything like that. Never done anything with the, the new turtles. And there's nothing really revealed. It was kind of like <gasps> it was just a trailer. The trailers were brilliant. Um, and again, Warner Brothers had their chance, and they just fucked it up and never revealed a thing. So I don't know what their plan is. They're plan. They've obviously they've revealed the name of their universe, but there's nothing about their universe. But hey, you think they'd have revealed it and said, "So with the worlds of DC, we've got the Batman," and then all of a sudden comes the, the Batman comes out the cast. I think now after seeing this, I think Ben Affleck is one hundred percent out of Batman because if they knew. That Ben Affleck was staying on, and they're just kind of keeping fans kind of going. They would have revealed Ben Affleck as Batman. Something's wrong. Batman is out. Ben Affleck is out. Batfleck is out. And I really that is a horrible situation because I think Ben Affleck is one of the greatest actors of all time. I think he's probably one of the greatest Batman actors of all time. He's very comic book accurate when you see him. And I'm going to be this guy. I think he was better than Christian Bale. I'm not a Christian Bale fan. I liked him in American Psycho. And that's generally it. He was a, he was a good Bruce Wayne Batman, but it's funny though when he was Batman, everyone was like, "Oh, he's the best Batman ever!" And then years later, he's still the best Batman ever. But then people start to crack and kind of say, "Well, his voice is a bit kind of I'm Batman." It was a bit kind of pish. Um, I think he was a good Bruce Wayne, but not a great Batman. Whereas Michael Keaton was a great Bruce Wayne, a great Batman. Uh, Val Kilmer. Uh, Val Kilmer was decent he was a decent Bruce Wayne and a decent Batman jo- mm, George Clooney was a George Clooney was a good Bruce Wayne no, he had that swag, he had that rich man he had that coolness about him he was just a terrible Batman he was a good Bruce Wayne, terrible Batman Christian Bale obviously I think what it was is everyone just loved Batman because it was just not uh, Joe Schumacher not just nipples and stuff like that and all oh, Bat the, the a close up shot of the Batman pulling his bot, pants up in the Bat bomb. It wasn't all that. It was in campy. I mean, so I think anyone could have been Batman. Everyone, would, everyone, would, everyone would have been like, "Oh my god, amazing!" But Christian Bale, he was good. But I just, I'm just, I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not fussed with him to be honest. I mean, I'm not fussed at all. Uh, the Christopher Nolan films were gro- were brilliant, but I wasn't fussed to be honest. Whereas Bat, Bruce, Ben Affleck, I'm just like, oh, he's so good. I love Ben Affleck. I love Ben Affleck. I love Ben Affleck. I really do. Um, I'm with Kevin Smith. Cast that man in anything. Cast Ben Affleck in anything. Cast Ben Affleck as a John, as Shark and Jaws, and I'll watch it. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, there's been nothing much announcements wise. It's been quite kind of quiet. Uh, even like off Comic Con has been nothing that big that makes me like, oh, I can you talk about this. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically it from the, the Comic Con debrief. Like I said, we had the usual suspects from the TV shows and all that, but nothing was big this year. It was quite kind of, and I was kind of contemplating not doing this because I thought there's nothing I can do. I was going to do a quick kind of two minute video and be like, there was nothing really exciting. Um, a few trailers and that's it. But I kind of want to explain why nothing was exciting and why I'm kind of like, Comic Con is quite pish this year. So I'm really hoping, obviously, it will be when, when Marvel hit. Hall H next year with their whole reveal of uh, Phase 4 as I'm saying Warner Brothers and the DC Universe had their chance this year and it blew it because next year Marvel's going to come back and be like BOOM! Captain Marvel BOOM! Phase 4 BOOM! Spider-Man Homecoming 2 and DC are going to be like probably still no news from the Batman Man Steel 2 or uh, The Flash probably nothing they'll probably come and be like shit we've got uh, what uh, we've got uh, Aquaman two, two? Uh, we've got uh, we've got Green Lantern, Green Lantern, fuck Green Lantern, Green, Green Lantern, fuck Green Lantern. I want the Batman. I want Man of Steel two. I want, and I know everyone. I said to my other video, everyone will be like, "There already is Man of Steel two. It's called Batman v Superman." I want Man of Steel. I want Henry Cavill fighting Brainiac. I want a full on boom, 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 bam, Man of Steel solo film. So, uh, Warner Brothers. 
Give us Man of Steel 2. Give us a Batman. Give us Flash. And we'll be happy. We'll follow this worlds of DC. Till next time. Adios amigos. Goodbye. Bye bye.